So Mitchell just called and said that he found something that would be interesting to cut open. <laughs> um, I'm a little worried. I need to remind you that uh, some of his past ideas were the tarantula, the pig head, the rattlesnake, all of which were really gross. So there he is. What did you get from Sears? Uh, see, everyone else in the video already knows what I got, and you have no idea. Can you show me what it is, or are you just going to keep squeezing it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't know you were filming, that's weird. <laughs> what is that? Any guesses, Dan? It's harder than I thought it would be. It looks like it came from something living, hopefully an animal. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> You're getting close, Dan. Uh, it doesn't look like... The lady behind the counter told me that this was more tender than roast beef. <laughs> what uh, is it? It's a cow heart. A cow heart? One cow heart. It's like the size of your head. It did weigh eight pounds, so I think that's about human head size. What are we supposed to do with this? Dissect it? Um, scientifically. Not in a gross way, but in like in a science way. If you've seen the last couple of videos we've done, this water jet is like brand new. And the water, though it's dark, it doesn't have like any gross fleshy stuff in it. Yeah, Dan's like, we can't do that because you're going to get the new water jet with a cow heart in it. Like, <laughs> Come on, Dan. So we've got a plastic bucket that we've uh, resting there. We've got a steel plate in the bottom. We're going to fill this with water and then cut the cow heart on top of this. That way, it's contained. Hopefully all the heart juice stays inside the bucket. <laughs> With our luck though, it's it's just gonna leak well, out. Well, if we get like a board on it or something, I think it's so. Is that gonna be too tall? I don't know how much that heart flattens out. What'd you uh, use there to open it up, Mitchell? Uh, this is one of our knives called the Tan Tanto 2, Dan. Huh. Didn't you know that? That's very interesting. Is there a place where I can buy those? You can buy those on waterjetknives.com. Wow. You know, it almost seems like a good idea until you have to pull the eight pound part out of the set. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, I don't know what that connected to. That looks weird. These cut hearts, the they, they cut the aorta off, which is the top half of that heart, but we've still got like the, the chambers here. It's a little tall, Dan. That is a little tall. So I'm gonna cut a little groove. Oh, this is weird, Dan. Oh, this fat is weird. Okay. It's super hard. Now we just gotta line up your little weird groove with the <laughs> nozzle. <laughs> this is the path it's gonna go. Oh. Oh, we gotta rotate the heart a little bit. Why does heart smell weird, Dan? I just gotta cut out this fleshy bit. Well, let's run it and see what happens. They weren't totally successful keeping all the fleshy bits out. We'll see uh, what the damage to the bucket is once we lift that up, but this is... Oh, uh, that's looking weird already. You know, Dan, there's a lot of reasons not to do some of the things that we do, but there's absolutely no reason not to try out Honey. They're the sponsor of today's video. Honey is a free web browser extension that automatically searches for the best promo codes whenever you're shopping online. That means you get the best deals whenever you're shopping on over 37,000 websites such as Amazon, eBay, Walmart, and more. Last week I wanted to rent a movie with my family and I went to Redbox and Honey popped up and said, hey, we got some promo codes for you to try. Bada boom, bada bing, free movie. Can't beat that. Installing Honey is super easy. Just go to joinhoney.com slash waterjet with just two more clicks, you'll have it installed and start saving. There's literally no reason not to use Honey on everything you buy online. Let me recap that for you. It's free, it installs in just two clicks, and it saves you money online. 
Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash waterjet, or just click the link in the description. And if you don't do it, you'll break my heart. What do we got? It still smells real weird, Dan. Oh. Ah, it's hearty. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> It just looks like a really dense beef, kind of, except less marbly. Okay, so uh, what is this area that you're sticking your hand in right now? That is the left ventricle. Or right. I don't know, I just remember seeing that somewhere. See, Dan, this in here, this is where the string don't tug on my heartstrings come from. Is that really? I have no idea, but there's strings that, inside here and it's super weird. That kind of makes sense. So probably the most surprising thing is here is all like the weird holes and strings. That is really weird. Like if you've got tryptophobia, like you can close your eyes now because this is <laughs> super weird. This part was connected right there. So that's one half and that's the other half of one chamber and then like this over here, these were the other chamber? I assume ca cowhards just have two chambers. I don't know. If someone out there is a botanist and can tell us how hearts work. <laughs> or uh, a phlebotomist. Yeah, there's a lot of heart strings in there. I think those are just tendons, the, the, like the, cause this is all just one giant muscle and so it pulls on the different tendons to like, pull, make it collapse pulse. things? Well, yeah, well to like, well yeah, to like, contract and expand and stuff, the, the different chambers. Like what did this thing connect to? Where's my other half in there? Hey, there's one last thing you've got to do that you always do. <laughs> I can see that you're really like <laughs> rethinking some of your um, life choices now. <laughs> like if you guys were ever wondering like what won't he lick? This is it. <laughs> we found it. Luckily I've got five other senses that are all telling me this is a really <laughs> disgusting cow heart. I don't need to use my sixth sense of that. Whatever I'm trying to say. So this is gross already. Last part we almost forgot. Oh, that's frothy. <laughs> that needs to be dumped outside. How big of a steel plate did you put in the bottom of that? Big enough? <laughs> enough to keep it sunk? Oh, that smells bad. I don't know how red it is. Oh, there's a small piece of fat. Grab it. It's floating in the water. I don't really like it, Dan. All right, guys. And yep, yeah, that was gross. If you want to watch last week's video, click uh, these fleshy bits over here. If you want to watch a video YouTube wants you to watch, click over here. And to subscribe, click the knife. <laughs>